So as you know, I've given my, uh, my inner misanthrope uh, other tasks in order to change uh, my distrustful nature. Um, and so one of the things that I've set uh, it to do is look for uh, uh, the positives uh, in people and my surroundings. And uh, I came up with two uh, that I thought, I thought seemed kind of subtle, but in retrospect I realized what had happened. And the first was uh, I went to uh, something had gone wrong for somebody and I saw it and I walked over there and fixed it for them. And they didn't realize it. They didn't realize not only that something gone wrong, and uh, they didn't appear to realize that I'd walked over there and uh, helped them. And someone observed it from a distance and came over, and uh, I didn't really think much of it, but this person came over and started talking to me about it at length, about like the whole, the whole nature of um, random kindness and the... Uh, Almost the kind of startling uh, inattentiveness that some people uh, kind of go through life uh, displaying. Um, that, that so much could happen right next to like your body and that you will be completely unaware of. Um, and actually that's what stuck in my mind. It's like, yeah, so, sometimes some people don't realize that something's happening right next to them. And I wonder at that, like uh, at uh, how absorbed um, do you have to be before be, until until you realize that uh, something's taking place uh, within inches of you, or maybe because there's so many of us uh, often, uh, you know, bustling amongst each other. Maybe that's like some sort of protective thing in a way that we give people space by not being overly aware of them. I don't know, but uh, this person was really struck by my. Uh, by my behavior, and uh, only later did my uh, uh, my inner misanthrope uh, bring that out as an example of uh, what you do has worth, uh, even a uh, uh, some kindness that you give to somebody that isn't acknowledged or even recognized um, might just be recognized by somebody at a distance. Um, they might not even have an opportunity to say something to you, not like this person walked up and said something to me about it and I realized that uh, I realized that it really liked what I did and uh, just now I uh, I went and ordered a pizza and uh, I was waiting for the person uh, taking the orders to finish their paperwork and then they were gonna say to me something like and what can I get you but uh, since I didn't immediately just step forward and get right in her face uh, the guy behind me goes uh, well I think you're next and I go well I might be at that and uh, I looked over at the lady, and she looked up at me, and I'm like, when she's ready, I'll be ready. And she smiled at me and finished her paperwork and said, what can I get you? And I ordered my pizza, and uh, she said, what's your name? And um, then uh, that guy ordered his pizza, and then they make them in a conveyor belt and then uh, style. And then both our pizzas hit at the same time, and uh, they called our names, and she left the counter and walked over and grabbed my pizza and walked it to the waiting area and handed it to me. And his pizza was left on the rack for him to pick up himself. And uh, I saw that immediately. I immediately realized that uh, she appreciated me just giving her a moment and being patient. And, uh, and also as a way to say, uh, sorry, about, sorry about that impatient guy right behind you. Fella, fella likes his pizza. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad I didn't decide to do a 40-ounce video. There's been two cop cars just come by me. All right. Well, I guess that's an up, a misanthropic update. Um, slowly working away at, uh, the, at the distrust and adding uh, an observation of uh, appreciation. All right. See you in tubes.